Pet therapy is popular at many retirement homes and in Lancaster County. One golden retriever is getting as much as he's giving. News 8's Lancaster County reporter Meredith Jorgensen explains what makes him so special. Here's your friend. Dinner. Let's go say hello. You are a nice doggy. You can see the love he has for everybody. Hey, buddy. From his wagging tail to his nuzzling nose, you can see the love. I like you again. Tanner has for everybody. It's just that he can't see. It was this disease called pigmentary uveitis, um, unique to golden retrievers. Kind of like doggy glaucoma that took his sight and his eyes two years ago. He was in a lot of pain. Teresa had Tanner's eyes donated to science so they could learn more about his disease. Here's Connie. But she also learned more about her dog. We really weren't sure how he was going to handle it. And two days after the second surgery, he was like a totally different dog. Morning. A dog with a second chance and a mission. <laughs> he remembers everybody now. Once a week, he visits the residents of Masonic Village. It's good for me, it's good for him. And it's really good for the, the people here. Okay. His blindness barely hampers him. He's smelling the treats on the floor. Tanner, somebody's calling you. Who's calling you? Oh, that's wonderful. He also teaches lessons along the way. They tell me I'm going blind. I try to accept the fact that I won't be able to see. And watching him helps. I call him a profile and courage. Pro oh, that's, that's a good term, a profile and courage. Yeah. Yep. In Elizabethtown, Lancaster County, Meredith Jorgensen, News 8.